bright duty every student matters hello dear students today we'll be taking up the second chapter of 10th physics that is human eye human eye now human eye is the best optical instrument in the world there are so many devices in the cameras which work on the rays of light that is the reflection and refraction of light through lenses but human eye that is one of our most important sense organs fine which enables us to see the objects in the colorful world around us now students how does this human eye work first of all we need to see what exactly our human eye is composed of what are the various parts of the human eye and we'll also see the functions of each and every part right so this is quite important let us start up with human eye now this is a human eye as we can see over here related topic term by term now first of all this is an outer bulging part of the human eye which is termed as cornea we'll see the function side by side right this is the outer bulging part known as cornea this is the part of human eye from which the light enters the human eye this is seemingly as we can see this is convex in shape so it bends or converges the light rays entering the eye fine next we have is this crystalline lens this is our eye lens fine this is our crystalline lens or the eye lens this is also a convex lens which converges bends the light rays entering the eye through cornea fine now this particular lens bends the light rays in such a way that the image is formed on this particular screen which is termed as retina this is quite important it is basically a screen which is composed of numerous light sensitive cells when light illuminates on them then they get active those light sensitive cells and those activated light sensitive cells they generate some electrical signals those electrical signals are carried by these optic nerves these nerves carry these electrical signals generated by the light sensitive cells on the retina and they carry them to brain where these signals are interpreted and thus our brain tells us as to what exactly are we looking at fine so this is the basic main thing that we have in our eye apart from them lot many other things are there firstly there is this flap like structure diaphragm like structure which is known as iris now what this iris does is these are the two flap like structures right fine and in between these flap like structures the hollow part is known as pupil this iris this diaphragm these flaps they can move like this fine so whenever they were they will move the pupil size will be accordingly adjusted it will be small or big why this is very very important this iris along with pupil they control the amount of light entering our eye we have we must have experienced this thing as to when we are in sun and suddenly we go in a shade or we go in a cinema hall initially we seem like we are blind for some moments we are not able to see anything around us that is because when we were in the sun let us take this particular representation when we were in the sun the pupil size was small because there was ample sufficient of light which was available when we go in a cinema hall the light is very low but the pupil size is like this fine so initially we face a bit of difficulty but looking around our iris it adjusts itself it's a flap it's a diaphragm it adjusts itself to increase the pupil size so that maximum amount of light can enter our eye and that is why after some time we are able to see everything everything is visible to us 
now again if we do the opposite from the cinema hall once again we come in the bright light now the pupil size is too big fine because the iris has made it so if we will go like this just in a fraction of second when we move out so much amount of light enters our eye that our eyes are automatically closed we are not able to see fine we just feel that flash in our eyes and after some time once again the iris will readjust itself in order to control or decrease the pupil size so as to allow the normal required amount of light this is how iris and pupil work together fine next ciliary muscles these are the muscles which hold the eye lens. These ciliary muscles also play a very vital role. I will discuss it in a few moments. Then there is a fluid which is present in the cornea. This particular fluid is known as aqueous humor. It provides <coughs> liquidity to our eyes and it acts as a dirt and dust remover. It protects the eye lens from dirt and dust so that they could not cause any kind of scratches on it. Then there is a fluid also in this particular part which is known as eyeball. This fluid is known as vitreous humor. Now this fluid acts as a shock absorber. It provides rigidity and turgidity to the eyes. So this is eye these are the various parts let us review it once again right we saw that there was an outer bulging part of the eye that was known as cornea light enters the eye through cornea then there is a fluid known as aqueous humor which protects the eye lens from getting scratches from dirt and dust then there was iris and the space between them the gap between them known as pupil which basically readjust and adjust in order to allow the normal amount of light the required amount of light entering the eye then there was our eye lens which is held by the ciliary muscles this eye lens is a crystalline lens it is a convex lens which converges the light rays this part is our eyeball we have a fluid known as vitreous humor out here which acts as a shock absorber then we get this retina this is a screen on which the images of the objects will be formed by convergence of the light rays through cornea and the islands <coughs> these images they are carried in the form of electrical impulses or electrical signals by the optic nerves which takes them to the brain fine now we need to remember that when the images are formed on retina we get always real and inverted images of the objects on retina this is a one marker question what type of images are formed on retina they are always real and inverted fine so this is all about our human eye the functions of each and every part you will be asked either to draw the human eye and explain the labelings the functions of each part or the one markers what is the role of iris and pupil what is retina what type of image is formed on retina which nerves carry the signals to the brain they are the optic nerves what are the functions of ciliary muscles fine so these are the one markers that will be asked in this particular topic apart from these our eyes contain two more things one are rods and the another are cones now these are cells and based on their shape they are given these names rods are the rod shaped cells and cones are the cone shaped cells which are present in our eyes fine now these rods they respond to the intensity of light the amount of light they respond to them right and the cones they respond to colors whatever colors we are able to see that is because of the cones fine so i hope you have understood what a human eye is fine all right students 